All right, now I know in the first six videos we've been getting things set up and not really building, building, but now we're going to be building, building. And so we have our layout here of the different categories and things we want to do. And uh, so let's start with the blog post. If we come in here to posts, you can see that we also have this menu here called categories. So the first thing we're going to do is just very simply, we're going to rename the existing category so we have some content. So we're going to do projects, tutorials, and tips and tricks. And so we're going to click this and we're going to do projects. And we're going to change this slug. I used that term one time, but that is the thing that's going to kind of be in the middle of the URL. So we're going to say, pro, uh, type in the right box here, projects and then we're going to update and we're going to come back to the categories and we're going to do tips and tricks and here we'll do tips we'll just call it tips tipos it's not spanish all right and then we will do uh what did i did miss tutorials Okay, so we have our three categories. Uh, we're gonna take a look here, and now when we go to our posts, you can see that these have been updated. So they say projects and tips and tricks, and now let's try to view one of these. And so right now we don't have any kind of slug there, but we're able to, uh, if I come down here to, let's go to about, or home, sorry. Now you'll see that these things still say places and guides and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our home page. And so to do that, we'll go to the dashboard and we will go to pages and home. So now when you look at this blog thing, you can see that it does a photo or photo two in one to three columns and we'll play around with that a little bit more but what we're looking for is the category so in this one we're gonna do projects and we'll probably shift these around but we're just gonna get it uh, get it set up again so projects and let's start right there I'll tell you what let's yeah let's start right there projects so as I update this and I view the page. Now all of a sudden our project posts have showed back up. Now we have this thing above it. And so what we want to do is come back here and find that. Now it's a little difficult because they use all this lorem ipsum stuff. But we're going to come back here and let's start at the top. So this says adventure. So that's nice. You can put a title in here. So we're going to put projects. And we're going to call this projects. And I don't, okay, so right now they're doing a just a direct link to a photo there. We're fine keeping that photo. So I'm going to save this and update it. And you'll see that we're starting to kind of shape things up here. So now we have the word projects. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's come to that same thing. And now if you'll notice, this is just a column. And I talked to you about this. As you're adding these things, Column is kind of the, one of the most typical things that you'll add because you can pretty much do whatever you want inside of it. So as I do the column, you'll see that this is a heading. Uh, well, in this situation, it's a paragraph, and it, they've added this class called Big. If you're not familiar with CSS, there's a class built in here called Big that just makes that, well, big. And so we're going to come in here and change this to say My Latest Projects. And I'm going to save the changes and we're going to update. And now when I refresh this, we've got my latest projects. And you can see that these things show the categories that they're tagged in. 
and how many people hearted it and all that stuff is all done automatically and I'm admin so right now it's showing that it's showing the date that the thing was posted and all that so now we have this we're gonna kinda leave this alone so this is uh, discover more now if you notice down here it's taking them still to adventures if you can see that in the lower left hand corner so let's take care of that uh, so if we come here we have this is the heading this is the my latest projects and then this is the blog and then down here we have discover more so what it's doing is it's making a link to that slug and so what we're gonna do is say projects because that's what we called it in the in the category builder and we're gonna do, we're, let's say discover more projects like this we're gonna put dot 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 to give you an idea that there's something there and then we're going to hit save and we're going to update and boom discover more projects and now we're taken to the project category and all that and we can change the layout of this stuff but for now um, we have those two project page, pages in there so that's good so let's go ahead and complete this with the rest of the project so we have kind of a blank space here and then on this one we have okay so this is where that this is where that giant graphic is see how it says the jenny penny thing um for now i don't want that there so what we're going to do but i don't want to lose this layout because it's kind of cool how they did this and i may want to move it around so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the little eye on this section and that's going to kind of hide it and now to go one better i can drag it down the bottom so i don't have to look at it all the time so that might stick yeah okay so that's stuck there so now that thing is going to be out of our way just by hiding it and i love that i love the idea that we can hide the entire section and so we don't lose all the design features that they made up but yet i don't have to deal with this thing in the middle of my page now as you can see that made my page really plain and we need to figure out why some of these uncategorized things are sitting here so but the first thing is we have this and I like this and I like I don't want this background but I love the fact that the background exists and uh, so we're gonna scroll down and what we're gonna do we're just gonna make these next two things work and then we'll pretty it up a little bit in the next video so we're gonna come down and we have the blog so this is all places let me see if I can add a title to this I cannot so I'm gonna leave that there now this one says guides so what we'll do is we'll change that to say uh, tips and tricks and we will I think we're good there let's see is there a yep that's just a title so we're good to save that and now I'm just gonna call this tips and tricks I'm not gonna do anything oh um yeah check out some of my favorite tips and we'll just leave that like that and now for this we want the category to be tips and tricks so we'll go down to category and I think it should say all or something by default and the main reason for the reason why this is all now is because I deleted the category it was pointing to so we're going to go to tips and tricks and I noticed there that tutorials does not have a capital T so we'll fix that while we're at it in fact let's save this and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to posts and categories and fix that real quick so I'm sure you saw that when I did it and you should have yelled at me through the computer maybe I would have picked up the fact that I put a lowercase t there right I think we're saved okay so now we're gonna go back to our home page and you can tell even if this wasn't called home this is the one that's always on the front of the page so all right we're gonna do our last section and that will wrap up this video so we have our tips and tricks this is all the tips and tricks section and now there's this image here and let's see here where's tutorials uh, places so we jumped one here so we'll do places we will change that to tutorials and save that 
and then now we'll change this to say learn something new today and great we'll save that and I think you guys are following along this is all pretty straightforward I'm just coming through here clicking these things taking their existing content and making it my own so I need to find that all and change that to tutorials and now we pretty much have a page that has our own topics on it so you'll see that we have tutorials learn something new today projects my latest projects now I think there's a bit of sp too much space up here we may deal with that in a later video these are the tutorials and then these are my tips and tricks now you'll notice when I had this set for all those uncategorized posts were showing up but now the only thing that's showing up is the uh, is the things that are in that category of tips and tricks and then now we have this join us today thing down here which we're not going to deal with right now and this little widget so that is laying out our categories and blog posts